Today we are back with another very interesting video on this channel, man. I told ya, I've been finding some very weird content on the internet lately. And today we're about to be having a controversial topic of conversation because honestly speaking, this shit right here is completely unacceptable, bro. Now I understand that we live in a generation where we're trying to be accepting of everybody's opinions and perspectives on life. You know what I'm saying? People are identifying as a whole bunch of different things nowadays. Agender, asexual, pansexual, bisexual, demisexual. Like, I don't I don't even I can't even keep track of it anymore. People are identifying as guys when they're girls and girls when they're guys. But this teacher just got fired for not meowing back at a student who identified as a cat. <laughs> now that's crazy. Personally, I really don't care if you want to identify as an alien or a whale. Honestly speaking, it's not affecting my life at all. But this right here is a very slippery slope because this teacher just got fired or a substitute teacher just got fired for not meowing back at a kid who identifies as a cat. Like that to me is just outrageous, bro. That just that that to me is just another example of how down bad we are as a society. It's like everybody's so sensitive nowadays. That you're going to fire a teacher for not meowing back at a kid who wants to be a cat? Come to find out there's an entire community. The same way that there's the LGBTQ community, there's an entire community of people. They call themselves furries, bro. <laughs> they identify as, as, as animals and shit. I don't understand it. They identify as wolves and cats and dogs. and You can literally look it up on TikTok. Furries community. People will be growling in the camera. This shit is kind of weird to me, but hey, it doesn't bother me. But when it starts affecting other people like this teacher right here, that's a major problem, honestly speaking. That's when it becomes a major problem. But we're about to hop into this video. This was actually sent to my DM, so we're going to have a conversation related to it. Um, see the full story and hear what she has to say, man. Make sure you do leave a like down below and subscribe to the channel. But let's get into it. Okay, okay. I've got to rant for a minute. This one at that school couldn't get any weirder. It did today. I'm a sub, and the most important thing we do is take roles so the school gets paid. Oh, I'm looking at the seating chart as I'm going up and down the rows and marking who's here and who's not. I get to the third row and I hear this meow. <laughs> uh, excuse me? Excuse me? I start looking on the ground. Go to the fourth row, everything's good. Go to the fifth row, everybody's there. Then I hear meow. I'm like, okay, what's up with that? Who's doing it? And this little girl in the very front row says, you have to meow back at him. He identifies as a cat. Are you <laughs> kidding me? I said, is there a litter box in here somewhere? My sarcasm self probably shouldn't have said that. He gets up and he storms out of the classroom. And I'm like, rough. And of course, the entire class is laughing. And I think, oh, no problem, no foul. I go to the office. You ready for this? You check out. They said, we no longer need your services. If you can't identify with all the children in the classroom and you wonder why they don't have any subs. I told the lady, I said, I didn't know cats were considered people. I thought they were pets. Another school off my list. Oh. That's crazy, bro. That's honestly very, very crazy. Like I understand if people are born with certain hormonal changes and they grow up feeling like they're a man when they're really a woman or they're a woman when they're really a man. I, 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 I can understand that, you know what I mean? I have a little bit more sympathy when it comes to topics like that. But to identify as a cat is crazy. I really, I really wanna know what's gonna happen when white people trying to start identify as black. <laughs> I wanna know how y'all are gonna feel. I really do. I really want to know how y'all are going to feel. And I, I really want to know how you guys are going to feel when black people start identifying as white. You know what I'm saying? Since we could pick and choose what we are nowadays, I don't, hey, I really don't know. But this speaks to a conversation that I haven't really mentioned yet. But this is a topic of conversation that I really want to have on this channel. I'm probably going to make an entire video about it because there's this huge agenda. And I talk about different agendas that are being promoted through music different agendas that are being promoted through uh, media, movies, TV shows, what we're teaching our kids. There are certain things, even comic book nowadays, there are certain things that are literally blurring the line between genders. They're making it, people are making it more and more acceptable to identify as whatever you want. This kid identified as a cat, I can be, I can identify as a woman tomorrow and I can identify as a man next week and I can identify as they in a month from now. I can identify whatever I want. 
And like I said, I understand. Everybody has their own perspective on how life, how they want to live their life. And I 110% respect it. But it very, it is very, very concerning when it begins to blur the lines between a boy and a girl. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's a boy, there's a girl, and there's a transgender. People who switch their sex. You get what I'm saying? It's like that line is being, being blurred to a worse degree than I actually thought. This video right here just just shows you how like how in depth and how 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 much of a rabbit hole this really is. And like I said in the beginning, this is a very, very slippery slope. But we're about to hop into this little TikTok compilation. I came across it of pronouns. You know what I mean? So we're just gonna hop into it. And I'm Eva, a sex freak. And just listen to what they listen to what they're talking about. And this is middle school. This is not high school. This is not high school sex education. This is middle school. And this is what they're teaching to middle schoolers. I use the pronouns she and her because I'm a woman and when I was your age I used to be a girl. Gender is how you feel on the inside about whether you're a boy or a girl, a man or a woman. If you're non-binary, feel like neither or both. People can also be fluid, feel more like female, more like male, on a, based on a different day or time. It's really individual. Absolutely. Everyone born with a vulva. Like, how confusing does that sound? You get to choose who you are based on how you feel. What if one day he feels aggressive and wants to go to the gym? And what if one day he feels feminine and wants to do his hair or read a, like do, I don't know. Like it's very, very, it's a very, very slippery slope. I don't even know what fluid gender means, bro. I don't know what that is. But it's a girl. True or false? Or identifies as a girl. Not everybody is sure, and that makes sense. But our genitals actually don't determine our gender. So some people born with vulvas can be boys. Gender creative parenting is a better. And think about the confusion that causes a child who's who's supposedly supposed to be learning about sex education. People argue that it's supposed to be, you know, supposed to allow the child to make the decision that they want to freely. I get it, but at the same time, it's like I'm a boy. I see that I have a. I'm saying uh, 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 um, genitals, <laughs> I see that I have them, but yet you're telling me at 11 years old that if I feel feminine one day, that makes me a girl and I can identify as a girl, even if I have genitals. And if I'm a girl and one day I feel like playing basketball, now I can identify as a boy because I'm a little doing something a little bit more masculine. Like that causes a major level of confusion in, 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 in the youth, in my opinion. That's, this is just my opinion, once again. Option for parenting than assigning kids genders at birth. Hey, Davey. Yes? If a person doesn't feel like they're a boy or a girl, what do we call them? They. What are your preferred pronouns? Uh, they, them. These are not my preferred pronouns. What the fuck is that? These are my pronouns. Mappa, Nini, Nopa. Nori, Opa, Pere, Pom Pom, Zaza, Zizi, Trixic, Torque, Feminomorc, Veramorc, <laughs> Allosexual, <laughs> They, them, theirs. They're customizable. Anything can be a pronoun, really. Neurodivergent noun self pronouns. Animal noun self pronouns. Mere pronouns. So gender dysphoria. Gender euphoria. I describe myself as agender. What is androsexual? Gender queer person. Homosexuality bi doesn't really fit them, lesbian doesn't really fit them, pan, asexual, etc. Asexual, demisexual, and cupiosexual. Intersexual, ace flux. Asexuality and allosexuals. Neuroqueer. Gray sexuality. Uh, and demisexual. Dexter is a gender identity that's similar to being. Excuse my ignorance, I really don't know what any of this. What is a Dextera? Gray sexual? Cupio demisexual, cupiosexual, pomosexual. It's like people are people are needing explanations about what this stuff is. Like it's not like a known. It's not known what it is. It's like people are literally making it. This is people are literally making it up as they go along. I'm bottle sexual. <laughs> I'm in love with the fucking water bottles, man. Bottle sexual. Don't play with me, man. Batola sexual. Batole. Batole sexual. Add a little French in there. Batole. Batole sexual. You know what I'm saying? Like you just make it up as you go nowadays. That's just how I feel. But look, man. 
This is absolutely no disrespect, no hate, no shade. I understand that people choose to identify. I understand that people may not feel comfortable in their skin. I get it. Like I said, you can be whoever you want. It really doesn't affect me, and it shouldn't affect anyone around you, honestly speaking. You should not get bashed for it. You should not feel some type of way. You should not be getting receiving hate for it or anything like that. Obviously, and once again, in my opinion, this causes major confusion. What happens to just being a boy and a girl? I don't, I don't understand. Boy, girl. Then it became transgender. Understandable. You wanted to get your sex, your sex changed. But now it's homosexual? Now it's demisexual? Like, what is this? Where is it coming from? Now it's batole sexual? People are just making stuff up as they go, in my opinion. Like, it is what it is, man. But, like I said, the whole entire, the whole entire purpose of this video is because conversations like this should be had. It should not affect anyone else's life the same way that no one should be able to have an input on what you choose to identify as they should everyone should be freely accepting of, of what you choose to identify as is the same way that this woman should not be fired for not meowing back to a kid like that is crazy to me man but look i'm in this video right here if you guys did enjoy make sure you do leave a like down below and subscribe and i'm gonna catch you on the next one man peace